first lick of the intro is starting from the ninth fret with our third finger on the A string. We just run up the minor pentatonic scale here, so it's... So as I said, ninth fret on the second string with our third finger. Then first finger comes underneath onto the D string, seventh fret, then third finger, the same string, D string on the ninth fret, and then we go down one more string with our first finger on the seventh fret. That would be the G string. And that's that first little lick. We follow that up with a lick number two. Another lovely standard uh, blues lick that uh, we obviously use a lot. And that begins on the ninth fret of the D string with our third finger. Pulls off to the seventh fret of that same string, which is already covered and fretted by our first finger. So a nice pull off. And then that third finger continues its movement and flips across to the A string and hammers on the ninth fret. And then we finish it off with playing the seventh fret of the D string that's still being covered by our first finger, okay? So the two licks together are that. Our third lick is the same lick as we've just done, number two, but we omit the last note, okay? So, so it's just the pull off and hammer on. Third finger, ninth fret, D string, pull off to first finger, seventh fret, D string. Third finger still continues its movement and hammers on on the ninth fret of the A string. And that gets us ready for the hybrid picking uh, lick, which is great, but a bit tricky. So let's go through those three licks from the beginning. Okay, now. This lick, um, you'll need to bar your first finger across the middle two strings um, of your seventh fret. And what I'm doing is I'm picking the actual, if you see this hand, what's happening I'm, uh, behind my, my, my fat fingers is that I'm picking the A, sorry, the D string with the plectrum and with my third finger, sorry, second finger, um, I'm picking the B string. So I'm picking those two strings. As soon as I pick them, I'm sliding my fretting hand up. And I'm doing that twice. And then returning to the big, uh, the first position here and picking again. So pick, slide, pick, slide, pick. Boom. Okay. Again. But what's happening is D string being picked with the plectrum and the B string being picked by my second finger. I mean, if you want to pick that B string with different fingers, we've learned on that, um, please feel free. But try and get that technique in there that you're using your, your plectrum and your finger to, you know, uh, in unison, because it's a hybrid picking, it's a great technique to get into. Okay, love that lick. So that's what we've got from the beginning. So let's go again. So we're so far. Then we do that uh, 
lick we've done before again. So, which is the first lick? Okay, so. And then what I'm doing is I'm putting in a like a an E power chord. So that's first finger on the seventh fret, and then my third finger is just going across the ninth fret uh, on on the uh, that would be the D and the G string. Okay. Finishes off the once round, okay? So we've got this. Play it again, there was a slight mistake in there, as you probably heard, my little eagle eared friends. Repeat things again. But then we change the just the last section. Okay, so the last uh, lick is that's just running down the minor pentatonic position one uh, scale, isn't it? Little finger or third finger, you can do whatever you want, whatever suits you. But basically, it is, which will be 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 7, 9. You can pick them, but I. Hammer and pull offs are going to come in. And where it changes from just a standard running down the blue, uh, mind pentatonic scale, is this end bit. I think, no, don't get, don't take my word for it because uh, Buddy Whittington is a far, far, far more accomplished player than I am. But how I'm doing it is I'm bringing my first finger uh, to the seventh fret of the A string, sliding it down to the fifth fret of the A string, and then bringing my third finger across uh, and finishing off on the B note, which is obviously seventh fret on the E string. So. Okay. That's a lick worth learning anyway, because that's a cracker. I love the sound of that. Good on you, buddy. So, the second part through is... Okay, so if you take this through slowly, shouldn't be too many problems. Uh, and as it comes back into the vocals, just while I'm here, I think what happens is he plays a little uh, riff that's uh, open a second fret a third fret e. It comes off to the e, so and then that's into your E chord. Okay, once more through. Hope you have a, uh, a great time going through this. Um, if, you, if you struggle with any of the techniques, hammers, pulls, you know, slides, vibrato, blah, 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 blah. I do um, have some courses online on Udemy that you can um, always um, click on the link 
and see what I've got to offer. Um, they're all ever so reasonably priced. It covers all the techniques and uh, basic stuff. Um, but if not, just keep watching the YouTube channel for uh, um, all free stuff. It's going to all be in this vein. Good uh, blues and uh, blues rock. Um, I'd love you to subscribe and just give me numbers up because it will massage my ego. Easy as that, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, I'd be a fun. If you've got any um, comments, please um, feel free to put them on there about what you'd like covered. And if I'm at all able, I will have a look at um, some stuff that uh, you'd like to have a go at. It will all be in my own little slightly simpler vein because um, I'm not the most talented guitarist that ever walked the face of the earth, am I now? Um, but uh, I have fun doing it, and that's the main thing, and I hope you do. Um, I hope you are well, you keep well, you stay well, and um, I'll see you next week. Um, and perhaps in the future with some stuff that you actually um, asked me to have a look at. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Till the bit.